not of works so that no one may boast ephesians chapter 2 verses 9. hello beautiful family a very warm welcome back to the lovely starch food channel thank you so much for coming back today culture is on display this traditional meal is called etso and so it's simply made of mashed rye plantains and some spices to get this going it is so so easy to make it is a balance of sweet and spice so it is always always a win-win get right into it it is so good so all the ingredients will be listed below in the description box with it right quantity so i have here some roasted peanuts some pepper ginger onions and the list goes on and on but the most important thing that you really have to have in this recipe is definitely your rye plantain do not choose the overripe one okay just the one that is you know rightfully right <laughs> you know what i mean so please go ahead and peel it off cut it into manageable sizes continue to peel each and every plantain you have until you are done all right please fam make sure you give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying the recipe so far and also share with your friends and family especially to those who want to know how to make this special meal called etta and also if you are dreaming of having an asante husband this meal should be a go-to okay <laughs> so make sure you have your pen and papers ready so once that i'm done with cutting and peeling off my planting i'm going to go ahead and use my pot i use my very nice local pot today how cute is that i'll make sure i put it in and this goes so well with eggs and i'm going to also boil my pepper boiling the pepper right here also give it a pinch of you know spice that i really really want the plantings to have and i also season it with salt add a little bit of water cover it and bring everything to a bowl it will be somewhere around 10 minutes for everything to be ready okay so while waiting i'll go ahead and chop some onions and ginger and begin to use my asanka to do the magic go ahead and grind it with all the strength you have in you with this meal you definitely need your asanka to make this happen okay so once i'm done grinding my ginger and the onions i'll go ahead and add in my roasted salted peanut you may decide to also use the peanut butter it is acceptable so now the grinding process is going quite well so i'm going to now add my boiled pepper you may also use the raw pepper as well but i feel like when i boil it it tones down the heat for me a little bit as my kids absolutely enjoy this okay so i just want to be minimal with the pepper okay so i'm going to go ahead and grind it together with all the other grinded ingredients so these are the few ingredients you need to grind before you add the plantain so i'm just going to set it aside and prep for my palm oil as i also need it in the grinded process all right so i'm going to add a little bit of amount of palm oil you zoom me okay <laughs> and add my onions and a little bit of dawa dawa if you have more money boy oh boy add it it is absolutely great so after about 12 minutes of boiling my plantain and eggs they are absolutely ready now and we are now going to go ahead and mash the plantain make sure you mash it while it's still very hot it is very very tricky it also helps to not create lots of lumps while making this you need your etto to be nice and smooth it is very very important okay so put your plantain in mash it very well make sure everything is very nicely mashed before you start to add new plantains and as you're mashing it you will realize that it gets a little bit thicker and just a little bit too hard for you to mash when that happens please do not add water but instead add a tablespoon or two of your nicely infused palm oil okay 
throw it in and go on with your mashing process once that is done you begin to realize that it is beginning to loosen up a little bit so it's good okay no water but palm oil and go ahead go ahead with your mashing process go ahead throw in few of the plantain mash it palm oil plantain mash it palm oil just like layers of beautiful colors going on it is absolutely amazing just in case you do not have a sanka you do not own one just yet go ahead and use your potato masher to mash your plantain it is also doable not too traditional though but it is doable okay go ahead and do that you may blend all the other ingredients in your blender using your pulse buttons just so that it doesn't become too liquidy or just too runny okay soft life gang you like soft life <laughs> but i highly recommend to only one asanka at least at home for some traditional meals like this okay it just slaps it is tastier okay so go ahead and mash once you're done go ahead and sprinkle more of your palm oil depending on how much you want in your etto okay this is absolutely lovely this is not tedious at all it is very very easy for you to make this and i know that this is bringing lots of memory back okay if it is go right in the kitchen and make this happen it is very very easy it would just take you about 20 minutes for, for you to get everything done it is so so delicious and it's just worth it this is a meal for kings and queens all right go ahead and just try it if it's been a long time okay so now i am done mashing everything up and i'm going to make sure that everything is very well incorporated by using my ladle to just mix everything up look how beautiful this is looking it is just so tasty this goes so well with some avocados of course your egg extra peanuts and if you have kobe is a plus add some salted tilapia on top i didn't have but any i did manage it with some smoked mackerel fish which was good all right so go ahead and give it a try you do not have any excuse just do it your own way and you do not go. forget your caramelized onions they are so so good just look at how beautiful this meal is it is absolutely delicious so there you have it family thank you so very much for watching right to the end i really appreciate your time please do not forget to give me a thumbs up share with few friends and family and also if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Statch. my main goal here is to jay you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe <laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes every week Thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you are so beautiful just the way you are. I will see you in my next one. Have a blessed day. Bye.